Welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows, movies, and movie trailers. Today's movie trailer we will be reviewing is the upcoming theatrical release of Voyager starring Colin Farrell. But before I get into my review, if you like the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notification. Now, on to the review. We are both alone. It's the blue. They're drugging us. What does it feel like to feel something? Blue. Don't, don't drink it. What does it feel like? Increased pleasure. I'll do anything you want. Who cares about the rules? We can do what we want. Yeah! In. Why are they all going crazy? Maybe this is our true nature. That's a profound thought. I thought this trailer was a mess. I didn't get it. I know there's probably some novel or some book out there that this is based on. Or maybe it's a completely original movie, which then I might be judging it a little bit too harshly. I, I respect the original work more than an adaptation of some someone else's work. For the most part, it doesn't work out or turn out the way everyone likes. So again, maybe I'm, maybe I'm uh, in the wrong here. But I thought this trailer was all over the place. I didn't get the stock footage of Animal Planet apparently in between the shots of them in space. I don't I don't understand the correlation there. It didn't get me excited to see the movie. I thought the music was dope. I the way, the way it started off, it had that I think it's audio machine almost similar to the Black Widow trailer music in that entrance. So I thought the music was dope as far as powerful it's supposed to be that kind of epic uh, trailer music and it definitely has that but as far as what I saw in this trailer and the trailers only I think a few minutes long but it left me more confused than not seeing this at all now there's a lot of actors and actresses that I do recognize in this movie but the way maybe it was cut for being a teaser trailer or, or, or just the first trailer to come out for this movie, I thought it was very chaotic. There was no, you have no clear idea of what you're watching. So it starts off with like a space shuttle launch and it seems that Colin Farrell's character is like the teacher kind of, but he's taking a bunch of kids in uh, to space. And then you have, you know, they're in like a, a space station up there, like a absorbatory of source. And you get these text letters that say, oh, this is our future. And then it has like this blue liquid that comes out and it says, this is, con this is control or something like that. It basically gave me the illusion that this, or at least in my head, that this blue sub substance makes them feel more, like gives them... Their, their senses are heightened. My mind just went straight to like ecstasy, the drug ecstasy that is actually here on earth in real life. Because then it just started going to them in self-pleasure mode. Like this guy's touching this girl's face in a kind of exotic, romantic, 
or just, just like a very sexual way and she's very receptive to it and they're like touching each other's skins and so it's very ecstasy like and then you have all these shots like i said of nature and parties and rave and you see it says pleasure they're electrifying themselves and they're getting like a, a, a rush out of this. So it seems like some kind of they're going to fight some mind control and they're going to find out that this thing was given to them for a secret pro project or something like that. But it just seems like it's ecstasy in space, basically. And, and, and what happens when you take ecstasy in space, which is never a good idea for any astronauts or future astronauts astronauts out there don't take drugs don't take drugs in space it just sounds like a bad idea there's a lot a lot riding on there and one mistake can lead to catastrophe i get it if you're doing it here on earth but if you're if you're an astronaut or if you're in space and for anybody in the future hearing this just don't leave, leave leave that on earth or whatever planet you are from but anyways i thought this this trailer was was all over the place i'm not super excited to see it uh, maybe as they release more from this movie i'll i'll change my opinion but if i told you right now well, well would i go see it now this is one of those that i wait for it to come out in some streaming service or maybe a red box rental maybe they'll prove me wrong in future trailers as they release them but let me know what you guys thought about this trailer am i are you guys with me saying it was kind of weird and sporadic and all over the place or or did you guys get what they're what they're selling in this trailer so you know leave your thoughts in the comments and like always that's a wrap <laughs>